As the nesting season begins for shorebirds, seabirds and wading birds in and around Sebastian, Florida, we want to offer advice to beachgoers on how they can play a role in safeguarding these waterbirds while still enjoying the coastal areas. This period marks a critical time for many species of shorebirds and seabirds as they choose to nest directly on Florida's beaches. Here their eggs and chicks blend seamlessly with the sandy environment. Wading birds like herons often select mangrove islands away from the shoreline for nesting. Given the importance of Florida's beaches and shorelines for the nesting of waterbirds, beachgoers have a significant opportunity to contribute to the preservation of these birds. Interested in making a difference? Here are some straightforward tips to be a friend to waterbirds. Tip number one, educate yourself before heading out. Look up if there are any critical wildlife area closures. When navigating by boat or on foot, keep an eye out for signs marking critical wildlife areas on the beach or nearby coastal islands. These spots are off limits to the public to safeguard large groups of nesting, wading birds and shorebirds and their young. You can aid these nesting birds by maintaining a distance and minimizing noise near critical wildlife areas. Tip number two. Heading to the beach? Practice the flock walk. Shorebirds and seabirds often nest in simple depressions in the sand where their eggs and chicks blend into the surroundings, making them susceptible to being accidentally trampled. To protect these nesting birds, maintain a distance of at least 300 feet and walk around bird congregations instead of through them. Approaching nesting birds too closely can disturb them, causing them to abandon their vulnerable eggs and chicks to the elements and predators. If you're visiting a dog-friendly beach with your pet, keep them leashed and away from nesting or resting birds. Tip number three, dispose of waste in designated bins. Leftover trash and food scraps can attract predators like raccoons and crows, which pose a threat to the eggs and chicks of shorebirds. Moreover, litter on beaches and in waterways can ensnare birds, turtles and other marine life. By properly disposing of garbage and removing personal items from the beach at the end of the day, beachgoers can support the well-being of nesting birds and other local wildlife. For anglers, it's crucial to correctly dispose of used fishing line to prevent harm to waterbirds, sea turtles and other marine creatures. And there you have three tips on how you can help waterbirds on our beaches during nesting season. Coming up next is another great feature about Sebastian. Click the video on your screen to continue. I'm Arthur Rowan, reporting for Sebastian Daly.